Welcome back to Tabletop Theater. To Los's Angels. This episode title, Fallen Angels. We abruptly left last episode in quite a cliffhanger. Carl gone, Q gone, Dominique gone, Pistoliero having turned his back on his friends and joined up with Los and Laura. He pretty much wiped the floor with all of you. I mean, and his army, and their army. No, it was just Laura. <laughs> so, we come back to Dominic's soul. Dominic, consciousness, maybe? What exactly do you remember? It feels fuzzy, like as it was a memory or a dream from a week ago. Tell me what you remember. Trying to save Radar. Trying to... to um keep his back so that he doesn't die while trying to um, dismantle the uh, portal. And what was your last things that you remember seeing? Success? Failure? Success. He did get to dismantle it. I also saw Pistoliero running away. Good. Good. What about Carl and Q? They were far, farther away. I had, I had, I know that they were, they were. Do you remember over. though what happened to Q? Nope. These bits of fuzzy memory, and do you know what happened to you? No, all I know is that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Consciousness, your eyes open up in front of you in black and white. The world, you're on a beach, you can feel, you don't feel the wind, you don't smell the salt. You hear the waves in the background splashing and moving. Shh, shh, shh. In front of you is that dark hooded figure, all in black, the face 100% not visible to you. He's sitting across from you, directly in front of a chess board. Reveals face, black and white, completely black and white. Fingers, black and white. And just looks at you without saying anything. What is going through your mind right now? I look at him. I look down at the chessboard. What do I see? Wooden chessboard. The white, dark. Your side is the white side. His side is the dark side. Has a, a piece already been moved or is it ready to play? It's as if it's almost ready to play, except the white side is missing many pieces it's specifically missing the queen two pawns 
a knight and a bishop. Mm. Otherwise, the board looks exactly as it would from the start, as if you're ready to play. I say, I see you've already taken my queen. You always start off at a huge disadvantage. I've noticed you around town. I take it that because we are having this conversation that I am no longer of the living. You're neither alive nor dead at the moment. Hmm. You're in between. So what exactly does that mean? And what do I call you? You know me by many names. Death? Grim Reaper? If you prefer something a little bit less frightening. He looks now like 1990s version of of uh shoot. Brad Pitt. <laughs> Hmm. So do I call wait, you? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Joe if Black. If you prefer to call me, you can call me Joe Black. It's hey, a Joe homage Black. to another movie of I know. <clears throat> I know, I know. That's the one I was thinking of too when you said Brad Pitt. Okay. So Joe. What is the reason behind the chessboard just to tell me that i'm at, at at a disadvantage and that you already have my queen two pawns and a knight and a bishop that's how life is mm -hmm. it's a game you play to win the circumstances are as they are but we're just having a friendly conversation and a friendly game. Because I've been watching you. But my question, Joe, is since you are only an observer, how come you are now intervening? I am here on vacation. This is not my realm, as it is not your realm. That is correct. It is not my realm. You come from Earth. You know Do I that hear Earth or dearth? You hear Earth. And it's you the first you've, you've known for real that and tell Dora you haven't even been able to say or hear that word like you guys have tried. It's just a it's a language thing. It's a magic thing. So My I must powers. really go ahead. I must really be somewhere other than Palmari because of the fact that I heard the actual name of my planet. This is the metaverse. I have created this area mm -hmm. temporarily. I kind of like this motif of beach and chess. Tell me, why are you here? Oh. Um. I died, I guess. Or is it a, a level of... The, 
this is my second time dying, I guess. It Maybe is. that's why. The in between. This area doesn't have as black and white as it is on Earth. Magic is involved. Yeah. So how come after I died the first time I was able to see you? And and the guy that has the wings. This is their realm. I am merely here. But without we have an arrangement for me to be here without causing too much trouble. But there are those that are causing lots of trouble. I I can tell that. They're going to basically do genocide. Killing every person in their their realm. My death is going towards their death. He looks down at the chess table as in... Yeah. Wait a minute, stop. You're dead? What are you talking about? Are you talking about for the people from Earth? Is that what you're saying? Yes. My death, as in the Earth's version of death. The metaphysical manifestations of the beliefs of hundreds of thousands of millions of people. Fear to put something concrete is me the concept of death from earth is being brought here and their concept of death what you think of as and now that you hear it you know it the the raven queen the champion of ravens they have taken over. They used to be human before. They used to live amongst them. Can you imagine a human taking over the role of death? Joe, weren't you once human? I was there when the first amoeba took its last breath. And I will be there when the last sun and star fades away. But you, humans, choices, creative ways of creating death. What you seek is noble to stop such things. He looks down at the chessboard. It's your move. And move forward upon. Cut to. Cut to. Interior again where we last ended up. Smoke is clearing. Radar. It's brushing away dirt. Um, the, the portal in the background has been disabled. There's still chaos and death and destruction going on. Um, radar is looking at that exit again to the left and to the right. He sees the fallen body of Dominique sacrificed so that he could accomplish his mission. The music gets sad. He looks towards Carl, who is being pummeled by uh, four of the of the uh, of the guards, and meanwhile, uh, floating high above is Laura, doing like this electric death thing. And um, at this moment, 
when Raider are looking, you know, sad at, at Carl and at the at the safety of that exit to the left. He cut back to Dominique. As her pawn piece touches a chessboard and your fingers let go. Choices always have consequences. As you and as a response, he shows that when you move at a piece towards something, you leave an opening. There's both positive and negative consequences. As he moves his, his piece board, his chess board, and you're playing back and forth, it gets to another choice decision where you could take one of his pieces but sacrifice another area, another one of your, your, your moves. And he shows you, like, as this is happening, he's showing you, like, these moves, this pawn. You see, feel clearly now what he's showing you with Radar's move, with Radar's decisions. Like, you could see, like, this is what's happening in the real world right now. Which way should he move? Do you think he moved towards safety? No, I don't think he did. Roll me a persuasion check. But, hey, Dominique, yeah. Dominique, look at me. You're dead. You don't have a body. You don't have a cheat to roll on. That's true. <laughs> so how am I supposed to persuade him? What did you and what roll? am I supposed to persuade him? I didn't roll yet. <laughs> I'm asking you to roll with your mind. Oh. Okay. What did you roll? A 20. Natural. Radar with a steely look takes uh, grabs one of the, one of uh, uh, some something uh, from the ground throws it at at, at one of the, the guards that's pummeling Carl. Hey, hey you! Let him go! And he and his the tension gravity throws out a piece of uh, of magic in that area, which like helps distract a little bit. Cut to Carl. Carl, hi. Hi. You're being pummeled. It's painful. There is a ton of of um, soldiers beating down on you with with weapons. You're being electrified, shocked with this uh, necrotic energy coming from Laura, and you're pissed and you're in pain. And you're At mad. least they're taking damage every time they hit me. <laughs> On that point, I want you to roll me a strength or a athletics. What's that athletics thing? Athletics, acrobatics. Yeah, athletics. And do you actually With, want me to roll it? I want. Yes, you're. We're cutting to this moment where they're beating you. Oh, down. well, I'm well, I'm you still alive. The, okay. You hear the inspiring words from. And a little bit of help from uh, Radar coming at you. You look his way, and you get that bit of inspiration to do something about it. You're raging, right? Oh, yeah. I think you get advantage when you're, when you're raging, don't um, you? Well, at, at, like, at least I am. Um, just a second. Get on to the here. I know your character. You do. Yeah, and, and I get a plus three, too. A fucking natural 20 on this. Wow. Cut to. You hear Radar's like little bits of words of inspiration. The same way that you've told always been have you been telling him. Stand up for yourself. Don't take shit. You know, um, if you fall down, always pick yourself up. Always pick 
yourself up no matter how many people are on top of you no matter how much weight make arnold schwarzenegger proud you pop out of these i mean you just push all of these guys off of you it's now you on radar's turn to do stuff cut to actually let's take you with carl for a bit as in the background um joe black and dominique dominique's soul are playing and moving chess pieces back and forth um carl I, you're free. I, think, I think to dominique you know you have to tell him when it's his turn right <laughs> your move creep <laughs> Or, or I didn't get, get the Arnie reference in, sorry. Yes, no, it's perfect. Oh, as you say, your move creep, one of the dudes gets up, sun from the ground, and, and like, you know, it's one-on-one -on -one with him. Meanwhile, Laura, you know, the, the other, um, Narissa, uh, your other heroes, they're in the background, they're just throwing stuff, and Laura is being chased away by them. You know she's got somewhere to go and she does his look and and uh as like this big box is you know people are coming you know the soldiers that were going through they're carrying this big crate and she starts going towards like protecting them ignoring you for the for the time being what would you like to do you see carl you see her you see radar and you see you and dominique down and you see other people just going back and forth are you, are you asking me or are you asking? Yeah, I'm asking you, Carl. Okay. Um, uh, I really want to take out Pistolero, but I don't think that's going to be an option. Um, you can look for him. I can see it right there. I no, will. He, he's not, uh, you know, this is. Okay. What? So what do I actually see right now? Okay. Give me your perception check. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say. 19. Oh, plus two. 21. Q, go ahead. What was, were you going to say? I was going to say, do you want the map up so that people can see what's going on? Yeah, let's do that. Let's put the map on just so that people can see the on. Yeah. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> It's a little bit bloody, this map inside. Ooh, that's squishy, but that's okay. Um, okay, so. Perception, 19. 21. 21, 21. Um, you see Q there. You see Radar, like, running up and trying to, uh, like, motion, uh, t going, running up to Q. Um, you see... There's still little pockets of battle going on. The portal is 100% destroyed. Radar took care of it. Close to that, close to there is Dominic's body. Um, is Dominic's body right here with a big old X. Okay. Let me just put a X here and an X over there with, yeah, there we go. Radar is like moving towards over there. Um, because he was when he because he went to go help you. Now he's on his way to try to go help you as well. Okay. He's like asking you for for like please help help. Okay, well, given the, uh, I, I assume I'm not surrounded at the moment. Not at all. Up? Okay. Yeah. yeah um, you guys, they're wherever you want, and Laura is out of there for the time being. She okay. They peeled off. Well, given I can't. See Dominique. I'm gonna go to Q. Yeah, and there's like again when you said like, hey, it's when you also when you said like, hey, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. There was a dude there in front of you, like, like trying to go take you out. So there's another guy. In, uh, there's another okay. guy in front of you as well. Uh, you can easily dismiss him. He's not part of the story. I mean, I just wanted to add that uh, that maybe if you wanted to push him out of the way or whatever. Well, maybe he'll try and hit me and injure himself. I don't know. 
Um, That's fine. Or you completely misses and somebody takes her. But you're going to you're going to go help out Q. Actually, this is not that time. I'm going to go and try and help Q. And that's very relevant that I'm trying to help Q and not attacking anybody this turn. Okay. Okay. You and Radar both hover over to head, head over to Q and are, are, are there. Cut back to Dominique. And we'll get to Q here in a second. Mm. You're seeing all this happen as like the chess pieces are being moved back and forth. You are moving. I move another pawn. It clicks back and forth, clicks back and forth. Meanwhile, as he, as he, as, as he says, let's see what happens. Moves forward. Q. Radar. Is cradling like your body and holding it tight. Come on, Q. Come on, Q. Come on, wake up. First off. What do we see? What does Q's features? So, Changeling's have a natural form that is never seen. So, because she is dead, she has reverted to a Changeling's body, which is completely androgynous. It's got no facial reactions at all. It does not look human at all. Um, it's like pure a mannequin? white. It's almost like a mannequin, but it's pure white. There is no... Ch the chest is completely flat in her clothes. The bottom half of her uh, clothes is like extremely loose. Um, her she has no hair. And if her eye sockets were open, they are complete black voids. She has no character characteristics of a human at all what an earth person would conceive her as is almost like an alien that they would see from stories from 51 and all that that's what she looks like nice nice radar is there holding your body carl is there as well trying to mm -hmm. trying to help or feed a healing potion maybe um, do you have something on you? Sure. Check. Check. Wait, let's roll this. Check. Let's roll a, uh... Equipment check. No, that's not a thing. Yeah, no, it's not an equipment check. I don't think of something. That's something. sleight of hand. Who did I steal it from? Let's do a sleight of hand, sure. Okay. I don't know why I picked that, but okay. 19 plus 3, 22. You only have one left. Radar is like looks pleading, pleadingly at you. And at the same time, there's a, like you could see around and there's like tons of other people in the same need i'll Cut hand it to, to i'll hand it to radar in case other people show up to uh, attack us yes perfect radar has it and he's and he's holding it to q and as you say that there are other people approaching you and that's when it's I rage. I rage again. <laughs> and right. bonus action. Fantastic. So <clears throat> the the pawns moved. Armalad, <laughs> Scarlet, Narissa, Ooh, and Tilk are approaching. 
this area as you stand as you stand uh, like um and you see like uh, a few of them like moving toward you you stand like up puffed up and 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 ready to guard in the meantime it's it's radar there like cradling q's body cut back to dominique allies enemies what do you think for me i think they're allies because they're going against los he moves a piece your move. I take it. Cut back. Uh, Carl and uh, Carl and Armalad steps up and he's got like this bow and he's like you and and him are both like pacing in, pacing like ready to square off. And Radar just says. No, please, don't fight. Help, help. Narissa starts as if listening listening to whispers. In the meantime, there's somebody behind uh, as well, like uh, a sort of healer that's going from body to body, going, touching them, going, saying, um, dang it, what's that spell called? Uh, safety from death. I don't remember. Death Ward. That's what it's called. Death Ward. All right. Uh, meanwhile, in the background, there's this um, healer going spot to spot. Death Ward. Death Ward. Death Ward. Q. Yes. You came. Gone. You came. You gain consciousness for for a second as radar is force feeding you a. a uh, a healing potion just in time. Your skin starts doing these wild manifestations um, from like the mannequin to like flash. Actually, why don't you describe you waking up and, and seeing radar above you? So as I'm waking you. up, my because my consciousness isn't fully there, I am shifting into other personas um, in his arms. It's... So everybody is seeing me shrink to a halfling to go back up to a dark elf and they see a, a the the human persona I usually take on and they're, they're they're seeing all these things. So one of the shifts is Narissa's thing. Even though I hadn't perfected it yet, they, she's going to see a glimper of herself. Nice. Perfect. And there's there's um radar and, and you're in radar's arm. He's like, shh, it's gonna be okay, you're okay, it's gonna be okay. Relax. And you're still maybe briefly remembering the traumatic events and flashbacks from your encounter with who you thought was a surrogate mother, but is now just turned out to be a huge bitch, Laura. More like seeing the psychological abuse, um, the gaslighting, um, what she thought was oh. her home. And to find out that this wasn't what family is. So not just yes. So as she's coming to Will, she is lashing a little bit. So poor radar is being socketed. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Cut to. Um, time is passing as you're, as Carl and, um, is, um, is like kind of fencing off against, 
uh, Armalad, and it's a tense exchange. Meanwhile, Narissa's like listening and stuff, and these guys are watching you. Cut back to Dominique. So, just a second. Our former selves are actually attacking us. No, no, they're approaching you cautiously because there's oh. tons of shit happening, and as soldiers and stuff are, are disappearing, they're going around. You see them touching bodies with, and you hear um, death ward, death ward, death ward, and they kind of sort of flash with something, a sort of Revival? magic that you're unaware of. Okay, so they're not actually just sending everybody to the part of the hospital that we call a morgue, but they call it a death ward. Okay, no, that's not good. Um, you don't know exactly what they're doing. Yeah. They're just okay. to be like touching the body, then some sort of magical effect. This, this people would know that it protects them from dying. Yeah, this, this dude here, the one I told him, uh, your move creep. I'm, yeah. I'm pinging him just because I why not? It was the closest one. Yeah. Um, uh, he has to make a saving throw. Sure, done. He uh, fails it. Uh, okay, he takes. Uh, it was. Not, it, I rolled a stupid eight, so it's the light thing comes out of my chest. Saving throw would take one d six radiant damage, and he goes blind until the end of my next turn. Okay, perfect. You're like radiating every time somebody touches. Mm. Like some dude comes over to try to attack you and. You know, even though they were having a square off, these soldier doesn't know. He thinks you're part of the pack, and he goes to attack you. And when he does, like the light flashes off, and he's blinded for a bit. Meanwhile, um, they see that they're not quite, you know, that they're being friendly, and uh, they're 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 telling you, stand down, stand down now. Oh, I thought this was one of. Uh... Uh, Laura's creeps. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, this guy. You took him out. You take him out completely. Okay. He's, he's fine. He's okay. fine. I'm talking about. I'm talking about our guys. Okay. Marmalade, Scar. You complete. They see you take him out. Not only does he get blinded, you like beat him up, and yeah. okay. They see that. Okay, you're not really a threat, but they're like stand down. So the tense situation is de-escalating. Dominique, back to you. You're seeing a lot of this. Um, Go out and and the it, it fades back into the to the chessboard. There's only a few pieces. Uh, there's only a few pieces left back on, on on the board. You've done a pretty successful job of gaining things back and forth. Did I ever tell you? Do you know the story of the Joshua Tree? It's an old earth tale, long before your time. Half remembered, half forgotten. People, a colony, small village, went to the desert and tried to find the land and find found civilized found greater civilization. They decided to plant a tree, seeds, knowing that they themselves would not be able to share in the shade of this tree, but their grandchildren will. And they did. This tree grew great and tall and blossomed in the middle of the desert. And the grandchildren served, tended to the tree, and benefited from its shade and fruits against the harsh desert sun and equally harsh nights. Many other groups sought the tree. They learned to defend the tree against them. But as time and time happens, Eventually, the tree will get take, got taken over by a madman. Came from the desert, wild, with fury, with pain. The desert had driven him mad. Seen here the beautiful tree.
He wanted nothing but to keep it for himself, slaughter the villagers. The tree, without tenderness, and being only fed with hate, started losing its leaves and provided no more shade. So the madman cut it down burnt it for heat in the night when its fruit stopped producing and for the rest of it it built things do you know what happened to the tree no he starts moving the the last few pieces of his on the chessboard, and the camera zooms in, and it, the tape the the chessboard is made of wood and burnt. The black pieces are all the burnt pieces. You're moved, and you could see easily clearly now. You're close to a checkmate. So I move and I say, check. Not checkmate, I'm, I'm close. But I'm not there yet. I move my bishop. Yeah. He looks and he's, and he's, yeah, says, hmm. It has been fun playing with you. I think our time is about to end. I look at him. I look at him and I'm like, but I only have two moves left and it'll be checkmate. Are you leaving before the end of the game? He knocks over his, he, he sees you've said, no, you win. And he knocks over the king. And as it, and as it knocks over, flashback, flash, you're instantly being <laughs> recovered, brought back to life. You're coughing, you're confused, you're in a strange area. There's tons of people around you. Um, but Radar is there. It's gonna be okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, we're cutting to a bit further into the future. Um, it's sort of an interrogation room. Um, you have been brought back from near death. Imagine as if Radar convinces, convinces, please help. And then cut to like the, uh, Narissa listening very carefully as if whispers are, li are telling Narissa to do something. And she points to, uh, Dominique, the body in the corner and the death ward person touches you. Cut to later on. Here we are. Post. You're, you're, you don't know how long has passed, but you're like in a chair and, and radar's there and there's a couple of strange looking people. Um, and there's still alarms going off. The camera would recognize, the camera would recognize, uh, Chance here and Tilk. <laughs> uh, Reda says, It's okay. They're friends. Um, we're, we're, at, we're at an unsteady alliance. Salute. Bless you. Bless you again. Um, 
Chance uh, goes watches goes up to the monitor to the walls and touches them, and he shows uh, Carl, Q, Carl and Q in like separate cell separate rooms by themselves with somebody there talking to them. As 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 well, and um, he uh, chance you know chance is like showing you everybody there, and he says, "We don't have much time. We should talk now." And I think this is a good spot to pause for break. <laughs> okay. Randomly, you know. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what I told her that. That's what I told her that. Uh, you know, it wasn't going to work out. Are we? Wait, are we back on the internet? <laughs> yes. yes. We are. How much? Yes. Of- yes. <laughs> All I right. Well, welcome back. Solid booster is uh, at it. <laughs> so, so if we're being interrogated, does that mean we had a long rest? Uh yes. Uh, restore everything. Okay. Technically, it'd be a short rest, but you all died, so I mean, except me, not victorious Carl. Yeah, victorious Carl. So, I think we have what two hours? Good dirt nap. <laughs> you, you know what? We're not on that map right now. I'm blocking it. And yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're in fact. Uh, why don't I just put here? Why don't I just put the map to uh, something cool so that people can have a background to look at? I'll put it to. Uh... Oh, I got an even better one. Here, go ahead and reveal this one. Wow, it looks less bloody. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for it to load for me. It's the same map, it's just no corpses and no blood. It's also nighttime. Hmm. Uh, once again, shout also, out. To, again, it to, matches our background. Yeah, shout out again to Two Minute Tabletop for providing these amazing maps that I always love to use. Thank you. Two Minute Tabletop. Mm. Dot com. Um, all right, welcome back. So, we'll quickly montage this little bit. Um, all three of you have been interrogated. You've told pretty much your version of the story to them. Um, it's still within a few hours of the event. Dominique? But I don't tell about my chess game. Of course not. Of course not. However, uh, when Arissa's there in the room, I mean, she keeps like hearing whispers of something. So, because you know, the, the dead talk to her. So, that's like interrogating you. What were you doing while you were dead? What? Uh, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay. Nothing of that happened. So, uh, <clears throat> Ants, Tilk, and a few other guards and people like that. Uh, you are now. All of you, including uh, radar, have these have this like collar, um, some sort of arcane looking device. Um, don't try any funny stuff. This is for our protection. Um, by the way, when you keep saying chance, do you mean Armalad or do you mean chance? Chance. Old. Okay. Okay. Um, old man chance. When I say chance, I mean like. Um, yes, zap collar. Okay. Indeed. Zap colors is the implication here. So when I say chance, I okay. mean um, old halfling chance. Yes, sir. old halfling now wizened, but yet angry at this point. Like he sh- he's when you're he's trying to when he's here at this conference table and when he was interrogated, he was angry, confused, sad, hurt. Um, they killed off his sugar mama. I mean, yeah, Laura's gone. They even though they were doing death wards, um, the camera like he's he's going showing through video, a uh, video of like your actions bit by bit on the screen because 
everything was televised. Like, we had cameras everywhere. <clears throat> we had cameras everywhere. While I was watching this, she had to go out. <sighs> Why? And, you know, um, so that's what's like, he's been showing the battles. I see all of you trying to stop, stop him, stop what was happening. Uh, right now there is zone of truth and other stuff around. Um, I have one question. So Perfect. Um, Two things. We'll go with Q and then we'll go with Dominique. Because Q's a changeling, the collar is not affecting her changing. Correct? How about for right now, it is. No, it's not. Because it's a natural part of you, like a werewolf. Well, so no, but your, your magical abilities can or would be suppressed at the moment. So if you try to any funny stuff right now, you can't. Well, I'm not going to be stupid, but I would oh, rather prefer be in my human bard form versus being an alien looking thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Done and done. All right, moving on. Dominique, question. Oh, what, what were your comments? So I look at Champ and I say, so you know that we were trying to help. Why do we have these collars on then? Video footage, because um, um, we know you were working with. We know you were working with them. Um, uh, we know you were working with them. Um, your story. I mean, you've you've been interrogated. You told pretty much the whole entire part of mm -hmm. the story, right? So everything like we're we're caught up. We know that you were working with them. Um, last minute change of mind. Thanks, radar is. Especially tells us like, and uh, one of the girls there says, "Alora's veil." That I, you seem to, uh, many of you seem to have been suffering of an influence. You in particular, it's almost like you've been fuzzy for all of your life. Once you're dead and brought back, that background hum of fuzziness is no longer there you're perfectly clear-minded like she had this effect that was that is gone now because you died same with dominique when you first died like you were clear-headed like she's has an influence carl they took that away from you they seem to have some they seem to be not fuzzy anymore oh will it grow back will it grow back Anyways, we still don't trust you one hundred percent. We we these are for these are for our uh, safety. Uh, Carlos, can I can I say one thing as chance? Yes. You have changed allegiances once. You oh. might do it again. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! Take some inspiration for that. Both Q and as, you. As Chance or as? As Carl. I mean, as you, as Carl. <laughs> so Q gets inspiration again. I mean, I, I think you had it, or did you use it for some? You used, I, oh, you used it on the reroll, didn't you? I used it on the reroll again. To save. To, to, yeah, yeah. To, that, that kind of caused. Yeah, which is you, the yeah, most amazing it. time to have wait which was the most amazing time to have ever used that reroll thematically so great uh no carl you get an inspiration for that all right so yes with that um here's what's chance begins to explain actually why do you think from your point of view explain yourselves why do you think this started what were you told how much do you know about this conflict between us? Los wanted revenge for Alora killing Carlos many years ago, your time. 
Dominique, your point no. of view? My point of view is that they wanted to get Scar because Scar killed his mother. No, she didn't kill him. She, she hit, her. hit her with the axe, but that's it. I mean, which is the axe interrupted you guys being transported correctly, which is why you guys were thrown in a lake at the very, very beginning, which prompted this whole adventure. Because she threw an axe while you were being magically transported. And at the right time, you guys went this way, everything got split, split apart. I'm just clarifying here. And please continue. Chance says. Uh, Q now? So Q basically knows that this goes back to Carlos's par uh, parents, like back to his father coming here, that people came here from Tildori to Earth. And she, she, she's doing this huge little thing, like almost like a little record show, Perfect. history Perfect. montage. And on the top of it, it's this little person of her saying, I have no clue why the fuck I'm here anymore. <laughs> Well, Chance says, a lot of what you've been told is misinformation, not the actual events. Let me cut and give you a correct timeline of everything that has happened. Um, Arm Arkham the Cruel, having taken hold of Vecna's hand, a powerful tool made by a lich, a lich that wanted to become a god, a mad wizard undead, created this, ha uh, his hand was cut off, and when you attach to someone, he grants great power. He used that power to invade Earth and, and tempted and cause, from, and from your point of view, you catch up that uh, he, or Arkham the Cruel, and other forces brought about the attempt of the wiping out of Earth with COVID-19. Um, two of our, we sent two of our best men to stop him, and we did it. At Disneyland, we had a big old epic battle where Arkham the Cool was defeated by Jericho and, and two, okay. two other heroes, doesn't matter. Fang and Sarah and uh, Jericho and Fang, yes, Jericho yeah. and Fang. Um, but Carlos, the drug lord henchman, who was his ally here on at uh, was the ally on dirt, got a hold of of the of the Beckman's hand. That's what happened, and he decided to try to invade. But Beckman's hand was being controlled by oh by um this is a good name by cthulhu an ancient god evil god that we have banished one of the old deities ancient deities that's trapped in another time space that is only accessible through portals vecna and Cthulhu working together to try to bring him back. But of course, I, Chance, single-handedly stopped the whole thing. <laughs> and with, with Allura's help, now it's, you know, Chance and many other heroes, many people fought that invasion, and Carlos was killed by Cthulhu himself, who was invading. We captured the mother, and Allura did torture and make her go crazy and mad. And now she's free and brought back. And with your intel, and he zooms in on, tell me about her, Laura. We know about Los. We know about Maria. Tell me about Laura. Can, can, can um, 
Q like pull out her does she still have her bag of holding on her? Do they allow her to keep her bag of holding? No, but they'll they'll place it. I mean, they could give it to you if you want. Whatever. Okay. So Whatever she, the story needs, go. So she has emptied out her bag of holding and pulls out a what looks like the old nineties journals that had the lock on it the little girls had. And she kinda hands it over and goes. This is what I've had since I was a kid living with her. And, um... <laughs> let, we'll speed this up just a little bit. Um, we'll have we'll speed this up just a little bit. So, um, they mentioned the book of... They mentioned the book uh, that, um... Oh, God. What, what are the... Briarwoods. People from Whitestone. Briarwoods. Huh? Yeah, the, Briar, the Briarwood book, which is actually a book, again, from Vecna which shows all these things and then it is like you know it mentions lichhood many many times resurrection blood magic and you we start talking about blood magic things like this now he still explained that we're only a few out we're still only a few hours into this allura sectioned off this whole section immediately so there's everyone is trapped and they're you know things have been sectioned off they're still here and around so he they're still here and around but like we don't know where they're at um we your intel is valuable and there uh, uh, as well is I, I Ilira, who is uh that that young teenage girl who can see other magical stuff and him and chance arena you know, they've been directing like the camera system to see show other areas but again Chance, I don't think would rev reveal too much to you, but Tilk is there as well, filling in. Tilk, by the way, is another guy here who's like there, like as a guard. He knows a lot. He too is from another realm, brought by from this. Um, he's he comes from like the Stargate realm. Literally, he's a Stargate realm guy. Um, they go off to go do some things. Meanwhile, as Hilk is there standing guard, and you can, like, you have a moment there to, for your, while yourselves while they go out and check for other things. I'm going to give you a few, let me cut back to you guys. As they've left the room, it's you, Tilk, in the corner, just watching over you, uninterrupted, doing anything. Uh, Victorious, Carl, Q, and Dominique. I'll give you guys a moment to see, if, check in with you, and see if, what you want and or need and or things like that. Questions, comments, concerns. Shit, why did I say that? Dominique. What are going to find right now? There we go. Dominique is looking around, and it all seems surreal for her. Considering she just had a chess game with, with you know, death. With Joe. Joe Black. Yes. The actor? <laughs> uh, yeah, and um, you, you're still recalling, like, you fresh in your mind and regurgitated all that. Carl and Q, what's going on with you? Uh... Technically, Q is going through all of her personal belongings because most of it was stuff Laura did give her. So mm -hmm. she's she's muddling at what she really is. Like, the, the stuff was given to her as gifts, but were they truly gifts? So she's going through her clothes. She's like, are these really what I want to keep in, on me as a person? Fantastic. Fantastic. Carl, how about you? I'm thinking, the movies were never like this. <laughs> this this is like, I'm getting some cool ideas. Me, me Last action that. hero. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I remember that one. Um, but I didn't get a ticket, sorry. Um, Carlos has a ticket. Los, yeah, Los has a ticket. No, no, Radar's got the ticket. Um, <laughs> On his arm, yeah, yeah. 
Is Rhaegar with us, by the way? Yes, 100%. Okay. In um, fact... Good what? job, Radar. You you, <laughs> you 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 stood up for yourself. You were victorious in your mission, and you didn't die. I mean, you didn't die either, Carl. You you're a pretty cool badass too. I'm, I mean, yeah, I but think... I'm big, bulky, tough guy. You're Radar. Is your last name O'Reilly by any chance? Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I I saw it, the character you were named after on an old old TV show. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, mush or yeah. something. Mush. Yeah, that's it. Mush. On that note, well, and he was like, "Yeah, I still, I've seen those vids. I've seen those vids as well. Yeah, it's it's a thing." And and he's remembering like it's funny. They they made that war look so romantic, and it's. Nothing like that. And he's looking at the screen. And because you guys were shown, like, it's pause at the bits and pieces where all of you were helping out. He notices soldiers pushing this big old box. And he looks at that box and he's like, uh-oh. Oh, oh, no. He, he walks up to the wall and he and he points at that box and like and the camera zooms in it has a radioactive sign on this it's a, great it's a new brought in <laughs> and and um <laughs> actually you know what i put tilk in there just because uh, uh as a guard but who still we'll, wanted to come back yeah. you know that's why um so uh i'll uh I'll, I'll mention to uh tilk that uh uh we might have a problem here uh you see that box that could take out this mountain hmm. assuming i know uh, the one up. A, yeah, a, a, a look of, a, of, of alarm uh and um he says uh i'll go alert the others and he, and and, and before Tilk right. leaves. Yes. Because Q knows that family too well. How far are your fucking seers from us? They're far away. You guys don't have any headquarters in this building. I mean... Yes. I'm... Uh, why, what... I'm thinking 10 to 1, he's going to go towards the seers and set it off, because if he can take out the seers, there goes the whole I'll, network. I'll go talk to one of them, and he, and he goes in that direction. Um, uh, but when when he's gone, it's just you three, and four, you four. Uh, Radar says, um, a actually, and he starts pulling out some, spreading out some pit. Oh, his, um, his arm thing pulls it up. Right now, the collars are disabled, so you guys can move freely and use magic at will for the time being. Uh, he pulls out his arm computer, and you see a little projection, and it looks like the the 3D section of the Arcana Pensophago with like eight little blank areas, and he starts noticing like a little area down below, and it's like almost like dead center. He's like, um. Actually, I think this would be a better place to place the nuke. In fact, uh, according to my notes, it's been designated as a area, special area of interest. And uh, he starts looking at the footage, stuff like that. Oh my God, it's a nuclear weapon. They're going to plant the dead center here. It'll take out the entire city as well as your kind of pensafago. We need to stop it. Tilk's going to the wrong place. Um, Do Dominique, uh, Q, um, you, having been here and know the area well, and what you just like realize, you know exactly where this is. 
on the on the map, and you're like, that's the abandoned temple at that center. It's a big old open area. That's exactly what what would happen if if a nuclear weapon gets set off from here. So you know exactly where to go, and you know that even though the areas have been locked off through most of our Kanapan Safago, because you did your scouting, you know of a secret way to get there. So, choice is. Mm. And, he said, and he says, um, and he starts pulling up, he starts looking at the camera, and he, and he notices Laura. Think she's going to be there as well. Hey, back some bitch. <laughs> no, I'm gonna back. You know how to pick up the lock? What? You know how to pick up that lock? I will try. Why don't you do that? Carl, do you know how to as well or not? Oh, yeah. You want to give assistance? I'll, 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 sure, I'll assist, sure. Um, what would it be? Thieves tools. Slide a hand or, or click on um, thieves tools. And okay. Um well there you go. You saw it perfectly. 2020. Yeah. Do you have still stuff? Quickly and easily, you, you, you unlock this interrogation room. Uh, it's more like mm -hmm. a little small conference room. The other interrogation rooms are nearby. You, you know, this, you know this area well. It's through the cells. I do, but we've got another big issue. What's that? We still have the collars on. <sighs> I'm not going to let this nuclear weapon go off. I'm going there one way or another. <laughs> Same here. Okay. I don't want to become radioactive dust. I don't think there's a way of coming back from that. Now, now this is GM magic. <laughs> How are these shock collars put on? Is it with a key or without a key? It's... You wouldn't be able to disable them, but you can use your magic abilities. But um, if we want to, we could just place... Do something to you. Well, what I was Maybe your head will explode. Maybe it'll disable your magic. Who knows? But for right now, you're completely ignored. They're dealing with other shit. Like, they're tracking Carlos throughout these things. And also, Maria. Maria um, when they were discussing, you heard Maria may be going towards the Antiquities room. Because uh, Chance... Uh, at one point, said, "Make sure to make sure to." He said, "Make sure to seal up the extra protection to the vault. Make sure to seal it up." So, uh, you <clears throat> better than that. Radar says we have a limited. We have a little bit amount of time. I know that Maria is going to go to the vault and try to get some things there before if any before they blow anything up. So, we have to hurry. I guess that's as much exposition as I could get you. Does that answer your question, Q? Uh, no, I was just going to say, if Q can slip out her stuff, and if there was a way to unhook them, I could un unhook everybody's stuff. But that was up to GM calls. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, they're going to stay on there. Okay. Uh, uh, it's yeah. fun. It's fun. Um, I don't like you just, right now. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to write a note. Um, big boom in temple room. Gone to fix. <laughs> nice. That is a that is a great that is perfect. Um cut to why don't you roll me um as we're dodging we've been wabi, why don't you roll me a quick navigation how to get there? Um You want me to run history? Three? Huh? Why not That's his good, yeah. history? Go for it. That's really good. That's really good. Um, cut to you zip zamming through like the area places. You know most of it locked down, but you had done some scouting. You know how to get there quickly. Within 10-15 minutes, you're there at a like a 
at a like an underground area and you explain like this was one of the original lairs that uh, the dragon used to keep would, would reside his gold at it's been long since abandoned and emptied out roll me as we approach some perception checks from all of you and or some stealth checks as well no perception just perception and i'm going to do something interesting oh thank uh, you for not giving me a natural <laughs> um do we uh switch to the other uh background yes please could you guys switch to the other background what's the other background on the second the, one in the in the discord the second picture now what was it called and I'll switch this up here as well in a second. Uh, let me do this. Remember what it was called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called um, Special Cave. Okay, and then OP Special. Oh, there it is. Special. I'm in color. <laughs> Finally. All right. So, um, uh, before we go in, I'm going to take 18 seconds. Uh huh. And well, there's three of us. Conveniently enough, we're all getting a tap on the shoulder. Nice. You're pre-buffing everybody. Yes. Uh, I, Fantastic. I was going to um, say let's see this real quick. There should be cam if chance is right and there's cameras everywhere. Can, can, can I put something over one of the cameras just to annoy them? What's that? Can I put something on one of the cameras just to annoy them? Sure. The, the only reason why I'm saying that is because I have a 21 perception. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to move us to a different area now. Ta da! All right, let's see. Uh, how... it black is screen. Black. On the bottom left hand corner. Uh, let me reveal some more. Let me get some light going. And let me reveal, reveal some more. Oh, I see a Viper Guard with 151 hit points. Mm. What? Okay. Now there it's coming go. up. <laughs> Every time I see Radar, I want to cry. Because his face. Oh. What, his face? His face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> no, don't hit me. Let me get Tilk, me get Tilk out of there because he doesn't belong. All right. Anywho. Uh, yeah, Tilk doesn't belong. Get, get out of there. It's right. so normal for our group to have somebody just randomly show up from another group. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, um, this is the, this is moving towards that area. Um, with the 20 perceptions, 20 perceptions, here's what you see so far. There's some activity and you see just off screen, you hear Laura doing things. What would you uh, What would you like to do? Uh, can we try and sneak up on them? You sure can. As a group, roll me some stealths. Why the hell did it say heavy armor? Because you have a shield, sucker. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that big ass bulky shield of yours? That's his, one of its drawbacks, is his stealth, remember? Uh, I never yeah, actually had that roll before. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome, sauce. 
Why don't you place yourself somewhere? Um, before we fully go in. Mm hmm. Oh, everybody add a D3. Yeah, add a D3. Oh, and uh, um, here. I'll just roll three D3s. And, so that's Carl, Q, Dominique. There we go. Okay, you guys both got three extra three. <laughs> I'm 14, wasting, 16, 13. I'm wasting 75 pieces of gold here because I have everything else in my bag of holding. I'm casting non-detection on all of our asses. What is it? Non-detection. Remember, she can see not even if we're... If it's magical. You know that. Okay, no, this is good. This is very good. Um, with the 13, I'll allow you to move a little bit closer undetected, and then we'll do it again because it's you're just on the verge of like um, of making sound, and depending on how Radar rolls, which I haven't rolled for him yet. Actually, uh, myself and Q got 16s, and Dominique got a 13. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, why don't you guys, why don't you place your guys somewhere? What would you like? Uh, actually, read about here. Read about there is good. As you're, let's say you're, let's say you guys are right around here. And um, with that, we're going to reveal some more. And then we're going to roll what radar rolls, and we're going to see what happens. Okay. As we all go quiet, really fast. <laughs> All right. So, sorry, that was the radar going off. <laughs> uh, where is his roll? Let's roll him. Come on, where's my mage? Where's his radar? Come on. Yeah, because they're always stealthy. You know what? Screw that. I'm just gonna roll d20. Fourteen. Not bad. You have one. You're you're all about here. Undetected. What would you like to do before we set this up and start rolling off initiative? I'll allow you a pre-setup or a plan. Uh -uh. I want to hide. Um. Q, Q, Q's going to do her her, her one night in shiny armor thing with Radar. Radar, like, you know what? I think I might be able to disarm that bomb. Yeah. But, go ahead. Before Radar finishes, she casts invisibility on him. <laughs> going, we got non-detection on you. We're going to do invisibility again. We're going to try to replay what we tried last time. All right, roll it one more time then. Uh, actually, this is what we need for that okay. sort of Concent radar. Perfect, and it's concentration, okay? Yes. It means you can't throw any concentration spells. So non-detection is not concentration, so it's fine. Boom. Uh, radar is invisible again. And he goes to go... He's like, okay, can you hear me? Okay. I'll go to try to disable the bomb. Meanwhile... Mm -hmm. You guys do what you do best. Distract them. Um, I'll allow you to move somewhere interesting. Uh, he's like, I'm. As soon as you kick off or start doing the distraction, I'll head over towards the bomb and and and, and disable. So, place yourselves a little bit closer behind cover somewhere. Over here somewhere. Yeah. Go. Do you want me to move you there, Dominique? Yes, please. Okay, right about there. Q, place yourself. Mm -hmm. So the DC is going to be higher for the stealth afterward. I'm going to actually follow Radar. Good call. You can place yourself right there. Mm-hmm. 
Roll me stealths, everybody. <gasps> Natural 20. Nice. Unnatural 20. Q. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Let's uh I'll do I'll do the magic trick again. One, yeah. two, three. Same order. I'll say um, Dominique has 26. Uh, I have 22 and uh Q has nine. Um and yeah. radar has three. It's radar 50 50. Three. Yeah. Radar rolled a three. Why does radar need to roll stealth if he's invisible? That's true. That's true. <laughs> He's invisible and he is not detected. Very well. So. I'm going to allow one uh, radar, like, uh, radar, like, um, can't say anything or do anything. So he's waiting for something to do, a distraction, a setup, yep. something. So are we rolling initiative or are we getting one free round? One person. One person does a thing. Pick that person now. I was going to say I'm hidden. If I throw uh, a rock in the opposite direction, meaning up towards the, uh, the device, What's your what's your best case scenario? They'll look in the opposite direction, not at me. There, we're fine. We're we're past that. We're is that the distraction that you want in order to initiate the fight? I, I have a, I have a slightly better idea. How about I attack this guy at the bottom, and that way he'll be engaged, and you can get a sneak attack on him. Done. Do it. I like okay. this plan. You get bonus one action on them with advantage. Yeah. Bonus action, rage. Yes. Now the wait, wait, we wait. Have okay. I'm waiting. No, no, no. Go figure out your roll. Figure out your roll. Six. Have I rolled a six before? Uh, six. Until your rage ends, you are surrounded by multicolored protective lights. <laughs> you gain plus two bonus, or sorry, plus one bonus to AC, and while within 10 feet of you, your allies gain the same bonus. So they get a protective, okay. what does it give them? Uh, how much a AC? Plus, a plus one to the AC. Or how much it, radius? Uh, 10 feet. Hang on. Mm. Are you going to draw a circle around me? Yes, that's exactly. <laughs> Except I'm moving, so that's not going to work. Oh, you think so? Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's so, that's truly cool. So as 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 we cut to like the translucent image of Raider from his point of view, like come on, guys, hurry up. Okay. The, the timer Oops. goes click click. I go click, I go to here. Off. An attack. Out of nowhere comes a screaming. Rah! Ah, do your thing. <laughs> uh, radar. Oh my God. Uh, yuck. Oh, just a second. Um, oops, I guess it helps if I do it there. Uh, 16. Okay. Does a 16 hit? Give me a second. A 16 hits. Uh, okay, um, for seven damage, and okay. uh, 23, presumably, plus whatever, obviously, is going to hit, for another 12. Yeah, for a total of? Uh, 19. Vicious hit. It takes over half his damage down as this machine gun bearing dude, you know, is just like a normal human, like, He's there as a patrolling guard with a AK-47, probably, or some fut actually it's 30 years in the future, some futuristic-looking weapon. You strike him down, he starts battling attack, his his weapon fire goes off. Everybody cuts and turns and looks. Roll me initiatives. Literally plural, in my case. Well, I probably didn't need the second one. 22. Apparently, so. Q just likes to go first. What's that? 
Oh, Apparently, sorry. Q just likes to go first. Okay, for, we'll do this again. Uh, me, Dominique, Q. Okay. So I'm 23, uh, Q is 24, and Dominique is 20. Dang it. I don't have a, I don't have a thing you to try. How am I the 20? 18 plus the 2. You get a plus D3. And I, I have a button that will roll it for us very fast. Mm. My blood mage is at 19, so where's my blood mage go? Uh, after all of us. What, the 19? Yeah. Later. Dominique is 20. I'm 23, and Q is 24. So how about I just say the bad guys go after you guys, right? This makes it easy. <laughs> what about Radar? Um, I'll figure out Radar. Don't worry about him. He's He's invisible. He's he's completely undetected right now. Like even yeah. even if Lara wanted to use that one thing she used last time, she now cannot use it. <laughs> exactly. So she's pissed. Top of the round. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, what? Oh. Not detection. That's all of us. Yeah. Uh, We're also not well. detected too. I did that for a reason. <laughs> I did it to everybody, but he's got greater invisibility. Target can be, but it's not. I mean, it can't be targeted. It can't be targeted by divination magic yeah, yeah, it's or fine. perceived it's through magical scrying sensors. But they can see me with their eyes. They can see you with their physical eyes. You did yeah. this, like in case you were magic, like in case you yes. were magically hidden. Now radar is magically hidden. And hidden from divination as well, so he's super hidden. But now that you guys have revealed yourselves and kicked off the fight, they can see well, everything. Well, I have. Move on. Top of the round, Carl. You're beating up this dude. You get to beat him up again. No, no it's not me. No, it's Q. You. Q is no, no, first. No, no, no. I said one person gets to do one action. Yeah. He did. I thought I thought top of the round is Carl, isn't he? No. No. no Q, it's is, me. Q at twenty four. Oh, Q at 24. Never mind. So you told me wrong. All right, Q then Carl no. and Dom. Yes, that okay. is the correct order. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Q, go ahead. Mm. Q is now not playing fair. Because she knows this family too well. She's going to cast this onto herself. <laughs> so we have Q, R, S, T... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Pure image. Yeah. There's nice. So let me give me one second here while I do something cool. You're gonna make copies there of it. Oh, okay. And also, I'm gonna give you. Uh, also, gonna give you a little bit of an aura. Badassness. All right, go for it. Badassness. Um, oh no. I have to roll to see how many I have, right? Uh, I think so. It's whenever I hit you, that's all. Don't worry oh, about it. okay. Each time a creature targets... Oh, yes. Me. Yeah, you have three duplicates to start with. And then if he, he determines whether he hits you or okay. a duplicate each time. Your spell goes off, you go and triple it. You say something, do you want to say something badass now that um, Laura is looking at you? There's the three amigos now. <laughs> um, and as, as a movie reference, I have to say, use the fours of you wisely. Bonus action, and then we're moving on. Uh, I know there is a bonus action thing on my thing. I just gotta find it. Give inspiration. Mm, actually, I know who to give inspiration to. The one that's oh. trying to detonate the bomb. Trying to stop All it. All right. So, <laughs> giving him the Good. inspiration. Uh, Radar takes a D6 inspiration. Moving on. All right, perfect. Dominique, you you have both an action and a bonus action. Whatever order you... Oh, no, no, no. Why? It's Carl next. It's oh, Carl, Carl next. Okay, yeah, Carl. You know what? Though I, I can delay for her if it doesn't really matter. Um, I will um, whack him again. Do it. Uh, 19 plus yeah. one to three. Oh no, I don't have it. I don't have uh, whatever. 
I don't have, I didn't do it recklessly, so it's actually 14 plus 2. 16. I think that hit last time. Mm -hmm. For 7. And whack-a-mole. Uh, it's going to hit for 12 more. Well, gee, 19 again. Um, for a total of 19 or? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's... 19 total. 19 total takes him out. Exactly what he need, what you needed. I planned so... that. Sure. <clears throat> um, so I have movement and a bonus action. You have movement and a bonus action, yeah. Um, well, I may as well, uh, I don't know. What doesn't actually need it, but I'll go. I've learned my lesson. Take out the small fry first. So I'll move over to here, and that way you're guaranteed um, extra AC. Extra AC, and he's engaged, so therefore you can guarantee it. Which I'm perfect. All right. So um, uh, go ahead, uh, Dominique. You're up. I like somebody is actually going to make it easier for me. So I am going to um, have my my daggers out. And I am going to engage flanking and try and um, Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Stab it. Yeah, go for it. Attack. Stabby, stabby. That 100% hits. Throw me all your, your damage. Plus three. 18. Uh, 28. Or 18. Huh? If he gets to choose, he's probably going to take 18, but... Yeah, I'm going to take 18. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah. Uh, and um, I'm going to try and do it again. I think you only have the... Oh, wait. You have multi-attack? Do I have multi-attack? I don't think so. That's a... Chance did, but that was because he was special. No, I'm not special. So I, I disregard the second one. You have a bonus disregard. action. Do you want to disengage and run away? Or do you want dis to just like be like, all right, I'm cool? I'm cool. All right. Uh, turn up, then. It's the bad guys' turn. Uh, <laughs> oh, Dominique, this is so bad. It's fine, though. Um, Laura is going to move over here and and see uh, both Bella and you. This time, I will finish you. And her hand does this thing, and She's now it's still like in tatters, and you can see like underneath it, it's like a bummified body. She does this thing where like liquid blood starts shrib her fingers and hands start shriveling up even more, and a big old thing of blood globule comes out, and she's gonna toss it into that area where where the three of you are, where both Dominique and Carl is. And well, and it's gonna the, be bad. And, and the poor unlucky sap that's also there. Yes, the poor unlucky sap that's there. This is what's gonna happen. My knight chooses a point within 150 feet and a 20 foot radius sphere centered on the point. Fills a burst of searing blood red mist. Each creature of the blood mage's choice that can see in that area. Must make a constitution saving throw. Yeah. Or take 44 Amazing. blood necrotic damage. Yes, this blood thing explodes in necrotic thing. Please roll me. I guess you have evasion, but please as well roll me um, um, constitution saving throw. I thought it's a this dexterity. Is not, this is constitution saving Const throw. Not constitution. Dexterity. Uh, 26. Oh, plus that's a sec. Uh, ding. Oh, no, it's not on saving throws. Never mind. 
Well, luckily for both of you, you the DC is literally yeah. 17. 17. Well done. So you only take half damage, which is 22. Dominique, you only take 22 damage. Carl, you only take 22. Necrotic, which I don't think you're immune to necrotic damage. No, I'm not immune to I'm not immune to anything, but um resistant to either. Uh, I, 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 I can't do resistant. math. I can't do math. Uh, no, I take no damage if I succeed on the saving throw. Uh, what type of saving throw, though? Dexterity. Did you it's just a... make a dexterity saving throw? No, constitution. Exactly. Does not apply, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Dominique. Yeah, evasion is you're dodging something. Anyways, moving on. That so is her bit. 22? 22. Which is half of 44. Uh, so a big old explode. Oh, this guy probably is gonna die because he's toast. Oh, he was already yeah, dead. He's, he's toast. He's definitely toast with that. <laughs> so does anybody get to watch a Roger Rabbit episode? When yes. The can and the guy go goes. Laura floats up and throws this explosive thing. Then this blood curling explosion, which is like necrotic acid damage, hits both of you with a searing pain. Um, and then the bad guys this turn see. What he could have done first is he could have attacked you, but he didn't care. Um, meanwhile, afterward, they're going to come in and swarm in on you. I take it the acid's gone by the time they come in and swarm on us? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so let's do a couple things. Hey, is that the enough distance? Yeah, it's enough distance to get to you. one of each and then we have so we're gonna do two attacks two attacks and we're gonna throw some uh cult fanatics at you two attacks i have uncanny dodge you know what um it turns out that they don't need to move upward the spell. so they're not gonna move upward they're just gonna attack with the, their machine guns right uh, here we are. Where where is it? Come on, where is it? My screen. I don't know, Sorry, guys. I'm having problems here. There it is. There it is. One to attack. Those are against Carl. This is against Dominique. Remember, your your AC is a little bit higher. Uh, they both missed me. Um, um, second one hits you. Hits. Well, the, fir no, the first, first one, one hits. hits me. The second yes. one doesn't. All right, for a total of six, as like um, these guys that are here and here, sorry, they did not need to approach you, are just firing wildly. Meanwhile, the uh, meanwhile the cult fanatics uh, who are there uh, doing magic things are going to throw out some shield of faith around themselves. As an added bonus, I have no idea what that means. Oh, one of, uh, they're going to... Um, it's basically they, they grant a extra AC on themselves. Oh, okay. So um, they just have extra AC. That's it. Next up. The good Top thing is if, if they're doing that, they're not working on the bomb. Yay! And <laughs> also, also, or radar, the 20 plus stuff. Oh, we can't see that, can we? Oh, no. We no, did. We saw the one. But you can hear it as, <laughs> as, um, um, these guys are throwing things like all of a sudden from back here, you hear noises cutting through and cut to one of these uh, fanatics looking there going, what was that? Who's there? All right. It was me. Q. And then Carl, top of the round. So we're just going to do a flashback to Q and her bag of holding. She yes. wasn't just doing anything to her bag. She was making composition shit. Nice. She's not using all her spells correctly at this point. She is going to actually use composition. Because she's got to keep a concentration on somebody. 
You know what? Uh, don't, don't worry about that. Uh, I'm going to let that as a DM thing. It's just there for fun. It makes my job okay. easier. Please use concentration as you want. Oh, no, 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 no. This is th this was adding into the bag of holding jet. I'm going to go with done that. And done and so, done. All right, good then. As this is going on, all three, uh, the, my, my amigos and myself all pull out these perfume jars and going, ma'am, I think you might want this back. Smashes it, clouded daggers out at her. Yes. Do your thing. So roll it in. What do I have to roll? It just happens, right? 4d4, give me your damage. Well, it's going right up on the screen. Twelve. Nice. It starts tearing up her clothes and she turns to look at you, and now she says, Stupid brat, let's finish you this time. And you can see, like, underneath the veil, the absolute anger and disgust uh, at you now. What else? You have a bonus action. Um, Because... It's instantaneous. I know this is an action. Never mind. I haven't found my bonus action. Um, I'm just gonna you, keep. You can just save it too. I'm just gonna stay where. Oh, actually, I'm gonna move up a little. Healing word. All right. Turn. I, I I said I was moving up, walking up. All right. Yeah, but that's movement. You still have the bonus action. Here we go. Uh, cool. well, you want to you go there? Cool. Yeah. All right, Carl. Your turn. What would you like to do? Um, which, one, which one of them said, did you hear something? This guy right here. Okay. Uh, damn, do I have Who's enough? Who's close to radar? Yeah, I know. Do I have enough movement? Let's see. 20. 35, yeah, okay. Oops. I'm going to go here. Fantastic. Uh, you want to jump over the... I went. I walked around it. All right, oh, fantastic. Just, assuming there's a way around it. Yeah, 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 done and done. Okay. Done and done. Okay. And uh, you, you heard me, you fool. And I'm going to attack it. Perfect. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to attack him recklessly. I love it. Since, since I don't, I can't use radar as a, as a uh, distraction. Uh, 26. Natural 20. Yes, um. Oh. Uh, that was pathetic. Uh, and uh, the second attack will be 20. 11 for a total of 31. Uh, no. I rolled a 20 to hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that hurt. That I don't hurt. know how much his AC got boosted by his magic spell. Uh, uh, it, it hits, yes. It hits. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, 9, 10, 11, and... Okay, I've, I sense a pattern forming. I did 19 damage again. <laughs> Every nice. time I do the well, same he, thing. It's, he's very hurt, and his full attention is on you. As um, as um, Laura looks back and hisses them, stop him! Don't let them interrupt the bomb. Um, um, unless your turn's over, Dom. Yeah. Yeah. You mean? I am turn? going. Go ahead, Carl. No, no. He said unless your turn's over. Yes, my turn is over. All right, okay. Dominic, go for it. I what am to going do? to, I'm going to hide. Um, I'm hurting. So I'm going to hide behind the bomb. There's a guy close to there. Uh, it'll jump up the ace. It'll jump up the, the, the DC that you have to hit when you try to stealth. But she can go this well, way. The thing, and then that's what this I was, way. See, that's what I was doing. Is it still roll me a D, but there's a guy in the near vicinity, roll me a stealth check. I'm just saying that the 
the thing that I have in my head is going to be a little bit higher than usual. You don't know if you hit it or not. <laughs> um, um, just a second. 19. The camera cuts to you hiding behind or in between the table or underneath the bomb. Why, why are you... Whatever. You're there. That's your bonus action or your action? My action. And I'm not taking a bonus action. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm hurting. I'm a hurting puppy. I'm basically, you know... Um, I thought you had fifty nine. I thought you had a total of fifty nine health. Yeah. Yes, I do. But I've already been. I've already been hit twice. What by twenty two? Twice. Oh yeah, yeah. What was the second one? So what are you at right now? So I could see it on my screen. Thirty. Thank you. Thank you. All right, um, Dominique. Um, Bad guys. It's the bad guys' turn. Um, well, a raider. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But raider goes at the end. Uh, so okay. is it Lara next? Yes. She takes damage. Roll it. Yes, because she's starting her turn in the cloud of daggers. Cloud of daggers. All right. So, um, points. if she keeps standing there, she'll keep taking it. <laughs> So her blood boil recharges on a four through a six. Roll D six. Mm, it does not recharge. Okay. As like more and more of the of, of her clothing is ripped off, you can now see like underneath, she's like a mummified person underneath wraps underneath skin. Um as she's moving moving towards you. Uh, with like this wicked smile on her face, her hand extended again. The lash. Mm. Oh, of your beatings, I see. As she starts like floating above and starts getting towards, she gets to about right about here and starts whipping out at you with blood lash. Uh, mm. She seems to have a blood fetish. <laughs> I mean, it's what she does. She sucks. Silvery barbs? Huh. Ah. Just to be safe. Nice. Roll me a d6, please. Uh, you have to uh, succeed on the... Oh, you did... Never mind. You oh, no, no. I have to no, re-roll then. Though. You have I, to re-roll. I have to re-roll. Very well. 22. <laughs> so well, now... She might hit one of the, your mirrors. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly correct. So what the mirror says, what's it say with the mirrors? Um, each time a creature during the spell, roll a d20 to determine whether attack instead one of your duplicates. If you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher. Which what you did. If you, have what? if you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change the attack's target to a duplicate. Mm. Yes. So instead, I direct the attack onto yeah. one of the duplicates versus myself. Yes. She whips up. You know, you do a little bit of magic, and she whips again hey. past it, and it's a, one of them disappears. You're now down to two. She keeps whipping one more time as she has one more attack to go, because she has multi attack. But you can see the frustration on her mind as, like. You, as you know, oh, a natural one miss, you know, whips again into an area, and you're like not even there. Like, you with a she rolled a natural one, so it's a consequence can, for her. Can, can, She's stuck there, can, can, and can gets Q frustrated. Do it, hmm? Q sees yeah. the sees the whip going at her a second time, she dodges it and goes, You know. Shame on me once, shame on me twice, shame on me a third time, it's on you now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bad guys turns. Um, I think they're done with the... Um... Well, actually, they might not be done with the firepower. 
So first off, let's go with uh, the cult fanatic, the one who's next to you. Did Laura originally say, remember, do not shoot at the atomic bombs <laughs> when she started? Okay. Yeah. I mean, why, why would she care? Because it'll so disable it per you, permanently. Okay. The one next to you goes to yeah. try to touch you. Uh, uh, it's a cult fanatic. It's one of those women uh, one of those ladies in, in black veils that's they're operating on it. Um, I'm and... thinking that missed. Oh, that totally Majorly missed. missed. Their hand fell off. Oh, no, that's not. <laughs> she trips. Uh, I mean, it's she trips and like you're easily able to dodge her. In fact, she's going to have a uh, uh, I missed face. Uh, this one, however, is going to come over, is going to use this as cover. And she is going to do this thing, uh, spell attack, and do this whispering effect, and hopefully this will work. Let's see. Hold person. <laughs> Roll me a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed. <laughs> That must be a higher level. Uh, wisdom saving throw. 14. Their DC is... I don't know what it is. It says 11 on your spell. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah, it does. Spell save DC 11. Well, then you passed, and didn't you? Yes. Fine. I know you want to hold me. I'm so cuddly, but... All right, well, the other guys are just going to sensibly throw uh, AR fire in your direction. As bullets spray in that entire area, um, one of their gun, this guy's gun stops and, is, and it, it clogs. Thanks to the... Uh, clogs? It doesn't clog. Clog? <laughs> Jams, I think is the word you're looking That's for. the word I'm looking for. Thank the you. Peanut butters, much. yes. Um, yes. Thanks to this lovely green aura, my AC is 23. You missed. Ben, the shield. <laughs> Put yes. the shield. How about the shield? Yeah. Yes, that. Perfect. All right. Um, and let's go with um, Radar's turn. 11 plus. 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 I'm not sure if I'm going to use the. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use it now. Inspiration. D6. That's good. It's at least a 13. First part's over. You're like, okay. Um, while this battle's going on, the screen cuts through uh, to like a panel being screwed screwed up and drops down inside us. A nest of wires, a timer. Two minutes. Actually, less than that. It's it, The timer's going down to like from five minutes down. One, click, click. Click, click. Um, cut back to all of you. Q. Mm. She's there whipping and missing and frustrated. Q takes out one of her other girl bottles of perfume and hits cloaks of daggers again at her. She She's done. <laughs> roll me some... Roll me some... Um... The, cloud of, the cloud of daggers? Yeah. Uh, where is it? Is it not on the screen? There it goes. Or ten. One, a two, a three, and a four. Not bad. What level is that? Is that a level one spell or a level two spell? Level two. How many more of those do you have left? It clicks up to level two immediately. No, but I mean, like, how many how many more cat scenes of level two do you have um, left? Um, one more. All right. Or no. Because yeah. I think you cast uh, invincibility, great invincibility. Isn't that pretty high? Or is greater invincibility no. three? That's my last cast for clouds because I did mirror mirrors in the same uh, aspect of it. There we go. So, how about a? Uh, just for fun, I'm going to let you just keep this on her from this point forward, okay? Okay. All right. Um, so that'll make it easier for you. Um, 
That hits. Anything else you want to do? You have some healing word. Um, I do have healing words. Uh, actually, can I actually see Dominique from where I am? Oh, I'm uh, hidden. <laughs> She's hidden, hidden, but what's your perception? No, no, I mean, distance-wise, yeah, I have to be able to see her. Roll me a perception. How high, how, how hard? She didn't hide, hide, hide very hard. Oh, no, I, I can see her from where I am. We're fine. So I'll just healing wor uh, use healing words on... Um, on Dominique. On Dominique. Oh. All right, Carl, you're up. Um, Dominic what? hears the inspiring words and heals up a bit once it props up. There it goes. Eight. That's a decent roll. Um, I will uh, try and uh, beat up Mr. Uh, guy who dropped their hand. Thank you. Um, he, he, uh, he, by the way, he, he's prone, so you have advantage nationally on him. Okay, so I don't have so I don't have to do it recklessly then. Okay. Correct. Uh, Whackums. Yeah, I mean, he's he's a little. That's ten. He's very very hurt. And twenty four. Yeah. For another ten. Hey, I didn't roll nineteen. I rolled twenty this time. Well, this Total. dude, even with uh, yeah, this. This this cultist is gone as when he slipped trying to touch you with his necrotic fingers and you're like you dodge it and just like smack 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 he's gone bonus action movement it's all yours <laughs> yes he cast inflict wounds on himself <laughs> um bonus action is uh and movement okay I got lots of movement um I guess. Uh, I keep leaving poor uh, um, radar's uh, invisible. Yes, no, no. I'm I'm leaving uh, poor Dominique out of my protection range by going over and attacking other people. Uh, but I'll go to I'll go to uh, no, actually, I'll go to here and set up for next turn. All right, um, and, Dominique, your turn. And now he's engaged, so if you want to do a sneak attack on him. Yeah, let's your, do that. Like throw a dagger or something? or going to move I'll over here. And... Um, you're going to throw it through me? <laughs> you want to throw or you want to just stab it? I'll... I'll um, I don't... Oh, oh, is... is is that Laura down here? I can't see. Laura's is down it? on the bottom left. Well, Laura's down way down here. here. Way down here. Okay. You, when okay. you look in that direction, you see the hooded figure of death again, just watching. Okay. Not saying anything again, but this time it's no longer Joe Black. It's just the hooded. Got it. Got it. Okay, I am going to throw. You're going to what? She's going to throw one of her daggers away. <laughs> um, unless he's got a really bad uh, 10. No, it's it's a miss. You have many of them. Don't worry about it. You have many. It's fine. Uh, do you want to hide after the fact? Roll me a stealth check, please. Oh, All right. Hello, everyone. I'm here. 14. Um, all right. Um, I'm still bad here. Guys <laughs> bad guys' is turn. Um, she takes her damage. Roll me 44. I'm sorry, what? You She's... roll me 44. Me. Oh, me. Which is another seven. All right. And she's going to hit you with a 28. Roll me a d20 and roll better than an 8. Oh, 
Unless you want to use cutting words. No. I'm going to have to try to use cutting words. Or, wait, is it cutting words? Silvery barbs? Silvery barbs, whatever it was. Um, I, so, could, I could roll. Do you want? I can do cutting words as well. All right. It's right after uh, that. So, so I can literally say, are you sure you're going to hit the right person? Here we go, then. Yeah, it went through this time. Yes, bitch. Sorry about that. <laughs> you know what? Let's change that. Yes, little brat. Hits you with it. Finds you with that attack. It hurts. For a total of 20 necrotic damage. You can't heal until the beginning of her next turn? Okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, no, you, you changed it to the wrong word. Given the picture behind you, it should say, yes, beach. <laughs> At least she's not right, Australian. Um, this would have gone really bad really quickly. <laughs> all right, we're moving on. Uh, that's the turn. Uh, next up is going to be the remaining of the bad guys. We have a cool fanatic. Um, who is going to... Oh, well, I mean, you're right in front of me, so let's just inflict wounds again. Stop moving. Missed horribly. Four and eight. All right. That's his turn. Um, the other two guys are going to take four automatic fire. Actually, let's split it up between... No, they, they don't care about Dominique at the moment. She's being absolutely no threat. Next to the raging Arna Schwarzenegger impersonator. Four shots at you. One. Impressinator? Three. Four. One of them jammed hit you. and the 23 hits. Which one? The 19? The 23 hits. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Or seven piercing damage. So three. As you're here, just distracted. Da, 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 da. Um, Unless his gun jammed on the previous shot. Yeah. Oh no, it didn't. it didn't. It was the one on the other side. Ooh. Oh. Well, so. I rolled 20 instead of rolled D20. Roll 20, okay. What was that for? That's Radar's turn. Oh, nice. How'd it go, Radar? Cut to, meanwhile, while this is going on, radar, the clock stops. The little hum inside of the thing goes, doo, and stops. Uh, Laura turns and looks angrily at that direction. <laughs> and, um... Did she just roll a... Yes, to reach out. She, no. she, she, <laughs> she, 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 she's rolling for another uh, hit by the cloud of daggers because she's just sitting in it at this point. Well, but she already I mean, did her turn. It's just her visual, visual reaction. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to use a legendary reaction now. She's going to look at that thing. Uh, let's go off. That same necrotic energy that was hitting Carl, she's aiming, she's moving towards this thing now, uh, ignoring now Q and moving towards this thing as she's like, um, as she's getting towards, getting close and towards it. She's like jump starting it at the camera cuts to like the hum starting to turn back on with like some weird luminous and magic and the clock start going take five minutes. And she's like, accelerating it herself no no um top of the round q um, she, she's paying attention to that right oh she completely 
has now lost focus on you and is now making sure that this bomb goes off. <laughs> Willing and consenting are two different beings, right? What do you want to do? I want to use Fang Death on Laura. <laughs> you want to what? I want to knock her into death concoction i don't think she's willing no 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 see you guys take away my fun um <laughs> meanwhile carl start thinking of the things that you want to do um Okay, then I'll just do this one instead. Compulsion. Honor. All right. To pull her back to me. Uh, you say something mean to like, listen here, bitch. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Um, wisdom saving throw? It is yes. wisdom saving. Against a blood mage. Mm-hmm. Old choice. <gasps> what? You don't understand. He has a plus five on this. Two of them. Two of them. The music. Oh my god. Tr goes triumph. Instantly, she like stops and turns and like. She hears the, your voice. And she instantly turns around. Two can play this game, ma'am. Remember, you taught me well. <laughs> now you're my bitch. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Nice move. Carl and Dominique. What do you want to do? Oh, what direction are you aiming her for her to move? Oh. She's going to be moving back towards... Uh, no, it, it's horizontal to her, so... It doesn't. Now nah, we're just gonna make it just to come back to you, yeah, right? She's Is that what you said? Back at me, yeah. She's coming it's... towards me. Yeah, That's we're using rule of cool. Her. We're using rule of cool. So she's okay. moving back towards her. All right. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna ignore this incompetent beside me. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, yeah. I'm leaving. I'm leaving your protection again, there, Dominique. And uh, and uh, life's a beach, and then you swim. No. Well, I mean, not for nothing, but he's gonna try, you know. Mm. Yeah, he falls over trying to catch up to you. He's prone as well. These fucking Id imbecile mages. Jeez, why is it rolling two and a half ones in a row? Whatever. Um, Carl, do your thing. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought he was hitting Laura. I was gonna say, don't. Yes, do I that. am hitting Laura. No. Why not? It's fine. It's yeah. because you you did perfectly fine. It, I understand what you're going for. It's going to stop it. Don't worry about it. It doesn't okay. affect her spell. And she gets to save every turn anyway, so. I have to stop her from fucking with the bomb. Yeah. You guys are doing the same move. It's fine. I'm going to let this happen, and you're still going to... It'll still be an effect where resist her. So do your things. Hit. 25. That hits. Roll me Plus damage. Whatever. 12. And... Uh, 22. Yeah, that hits. Roll me damage. 11. Oh, so a total of 21. It's... No, 23. Yeah. Um... You're striking through, you're ripping away clothes. Her mummified bot shreds are being exposed. Uh, again, uh, it's just bloody. Yeah. Thing. It's only it's half terrible. effective, I'm guessing, but. Yeah, uh, it's, you know, she, um, it, she's hurting. Like, she's caught in between, like, half not being able to move forward because of Q and because of Carl. They're like, she's like stuck in between. That's great. Dominique, your turn. 
I am going to try and stabby or throw another dagger at, at this guy over here. At this guy? Yes. You know, um, he's on the ground prone. It'd be you'll have advantage if you just go walk up to him and stab him. If you throw, you will have disadvantage. So I'm Okay, I'm gonna walk up to him and stab him. With advantage, go for it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Um he he rolls on the ground and to barely barely dodges your, your attack. You could use your bonus action if you want, but then you won't have a bonus action to hide. I'm gonna hide. I'm scared uh, of Laura. Um, that's that's my the reason why I'm doing all the hiding because you know what is it um, post traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> I'm looking at her. She killed me before, so I'm scared of her. <laughs> so where are you going to go hide? I am going to hide next. I'm going to stay behind the bomb. Yeah. The mouth, the mouth that roared, or how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. We're going to do a dramatic little cut to of like a. We're gonna we're we're gonna do a little dramatic cut to of you like being the corner and the, a chess piece being taken over. Another white chess, another white piece lost, and. Uh, you're having all these flashbacks, and this is a dark moment for your failure. You just can't get over it. Do you know what's holding you back? Because I do. But it's not my turn. So, um, <laughs> it's the bad guy's this turn. And, um... Um... Laura makes you, another saving throw? Oh, sorry, no, uh, yeah, yeah, uh... Well... Yes, let's do some saving throws. Nice. Now the wisdom saving throw. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. First off, you take some damage, so roll your 4d4. Okay. Is that at the end of a turn, or is that the beginning of a turn? Uh, after, after moving... It can make another wisdom saving throw to try and end the effect. Yeah, so tell so, her where to go, um, and then she can make. Then she can roll and make it. A yeah, so she gets. She she gets even like as as she's um, as she's like stepping forward. No, no, no. and then she parts it off. Um, so that's her turn. Uh, meanwhile, this dude gets up, and he looks at the situation, and I mean, he hasn't been hurt, has he? At oh. all? No. This guy right here, this fanatic. This one? No, this one yeah. right here. Yeah, I I hit him, didn't I? No, I don't think you did. I think I think he tripped. I think you just got into position, but nobody's actually hit him. Oh, you're right. Okay. Um. Yeah, he's gonna help stop. He's gonna look at you and um. Might as, yeah, let's stop this. Let's try as well from his point. Um, hold person. Now your turn. To do a wisdom saving throw. Just enough. Just barely <laughs> enough. Top of the oh, radar. Why does everybody want to hug me? Radar is desperately trying to um fix this thing. Um guys, it's moving faster. Um, I don't think I can stop it. Shit, 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 shit. Um, Top of the round. Q yeah. and crawl. Q. The music intense right now as you're in control. You have the power. Can you help finish her off? Mm, actually, she's in her little uh, little cloud, so I kind of hit her with the cloud again. 
Yeah, you hit her with nine. I, I already did. Yeah. Then yeah. it's on her turn. She takes that. Yeah, she takes it on my turn and her turn. It doesn't have to work no. on both. It's only on one. You sh Your turn. Do something else. Mm. Can you, you want to like keep you do for your turn you just want to like amplify this and and have it uh, create more hit her again um mommy. actually mommy i'm stopping in the freezer i'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to delay no worries carl uh why don't you um take a turn here then okay uh hey bitch, get back here fantastic uh, uh, no, actually, can I move such that it's fine? She'll be I in know, the I, I'm just, I'm just trying to get, um, you in the, there, there, there we go. Okay. Okay. Q in the protecting circle. All right. And whack. 23. For 10. And cut down. whack. 20. I need more than 20. 22. That hits. Or 8. Hmm. That's my worst round yet. 18. She's very, very hurt. Um, Q, Q, do you want to go now or do you want to go after Dominique? Um, I can go now. Um, Actually... <laughs> I don't give a crap anymore with her. I really don't. Yeah. Um, I am actually just going to thunderclap her ass. I'm going yes. to actually chop the shit out of her. Yes. Why don't you do it at third level? At th oh, wait, wait, wait. At fifth level? Wait, wait. Oh, my fifth level. You're at level eight, aren't you? So it's 2d6? Yes. yes. After constitution saving throw. So the Constitution saving throw is now a 16, apparently, not a 15. She's pretty strong. Oh. But also, because you've got the other thing that goes through, 17, does it toss her? Mm -hmm. it just, does, um, d, just does 2d6. She it. Um, she's, got a, she's got a... It's not built into it but because of the damage. A lot of her stats are getting lowered. She's actually at a 15 right now. She fails this. So. 2d6 she takes, damage. She takes the damage. Seven. She takes How? the damage. She How? gets tossed. She gets thrown. She gets moved. Um, We're in a situation right now where it's three against one. It's you three against one. Dominique, at the same time, can you throw me like a, a dagger throw to with advantage to see what you, and throw me your um your 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 wow. You're still scared am, of her, aren't you? She's really messed with my mojo here. Even the D three was only a one. Yeah. She's really messed with your mojo. All right, so um, she's badly hurt. She's been she's being tossed around. The timer is going off. Radar is doing his radar is doing his best to stop this bomb as it's accelerating. Um, um, guys, I need your help, please. Um, and as you see now, it's starting to go two minutes. You know, the two minutes left. Close to one minute left as the numbers are going faster and faster. That effect is still going on. Um, you, oh, her round. Take the the roll d the d twenty. Uh, roll uh, the four d four for me, please. Roll, roll the four d four for the daggers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled seven. Seven damage. Wow. She is um um for her round she is shredded now. You can see like almost all of her is, is off. Harder. She's 
almost nothing but skin or like mummified things showing through translucent she's close to zero health now but she's gonna try to get regain her her blood throwing spell and she oh, gets shit. it wait a minute she gets it mm. and she's starting to charge up her her oh boy this is gonna be so wait 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 wait, wait 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 doesn't my stuff work on her if i hit it um what would you like to do i was either gonna do cutting words or silver bard at her wouldn't that stop her from trying to see if she could get that because that's an ability check is it ability or attack or damage roll yeah no but it doesn't you know what i'm gonna allow you to do this anyway why don't you roll me an arcana check with advantage nope <laughs> what that actually 13 is exactly what is 13 is what we needed um because of your natural 20 because of the natural ones earlier she's now at this point where she's like you see now fear in her eye as she thinks things aren't going to work out she's trying to she's using that same blood spell again she's pulling it up and you can see now being built up there you use your last bit of like no and cloud of daggers hits one more time and with your combination no um, they burst the bubble right where she's at actually i got yes. one better i'm gonna use desolate whispers on her instead yes do it which now i'm gonna sing a melody she used to sing to me every time she would take care of me after hitting me with whips over oh, and that's over vicious. again Stop! Stop! <laughs> Go, do it. So, um, uh, roll me, uh, wisdom, roll me, uh, wisdom, uh, wisdom saving throw. She starts. She starts like, like going mad now, nah, now, nah. and as the dagger so starts flying in one more time, the blood that she was creating bursts up, uh, and she kind of like, um, <laughs> we'll get back to it, Froggy. I'm throwing tons of stuff out there, um. This um, is holding her down. Carl, you're there. Uh, why don't you help finish her off? Roll me uh, some two strikes with advantage. I was going to say, do you want me to roll the fake, fake damage for it? Or do you want to try to see if she No, we're, we're, we're fin this is more than enough. She's okay. This is killing blow. This is more than enough. Like, you can go up and, yes, done. Fantastic. You walk up as well. She's, like, being dissonant, you know, um, and you just, like, go to finish her. You, do you want in on this? I mean, Dominique, do you want in on this, or are you still scared? I'm scared. You're, you're, just from your side, you're like, no, and you just hear the loud crunch. And she's gone. Meanwhile, radar is 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 um is going on the thing, and you see, you know. Let me re clarify. Laura is finished. The whistling stops. The music eerily fades out. He was there breathing heavy. Carl is there lifting up his hammer, and what is below is just a pile of dead bones. Um, Dominique, Dominique is there. Is... Like, um, Radar is there with the, the, the numbers going down, and he's holding a pair of scissors, and he's looking between red or blue. Red or blue. Timer stops at one second. <laughs> this is a movie. I love it. This is exactly what is ha what happens. Um, the bomb is stopped. Um, the the body of um, mummified remains of Laura is there on the ground. You Q goes up to inspect it with her foot spreads out it's now it's like just ashes Ash. yeah pretty much ashes underneath dirty robe the veil just the last remaining thing there 
along with shredded robes. Meanwhile, from off screen, you hear Thunder's uh, footsteps as as um, Arcana Pansophable, Arcana Pansophable uh, comes and uh, uh, sees the uh, what's going on. Tilk is there with his with a few of the guards, like, and we see that you've stopped their train. Stopped it. Um, Chance comes forward and takes a look at the remaining things and says, What happened here? We'll cut to. Save the world again. We'll cut to Dominique. like uh, music Dominique. and montage. Dominique, Dominique and, and, uh, and death um, at the chessboard. And that is one way it could play out. <laughs> oh, it's Clue now we're playing. Okay. <laughs> Actually, the on that note, with the blood in the cave. Yeah. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Dominique, you go to make sure that she's gone. And where you, you kick with your foot where there's ashes, there's something there. There's a chess piece. The Black Queen. From the dream. We're doing, um, we're doing the, um, the queen, Black Queen is off the table. <laughs> the uh the uh we'll cut to uh another interrogation and scene where uh these things are still there um Elura is doing this something to like go over seeing they isn't she, isn't she dead her. Elura Ilira Ilira sorry Arena huh Irina Irina, thank you. Irina, thank you. I said allure the night. Irina yeah. is there uh, touching the things because they have cameras built in or at least, you know, so they're going through footage of what you did. Um, chances they're thanking you for stopping this device. Radar has explained how dangerous it is and what these things come from. Since your allegiance has shifted, or seems to, we can't quite let you go of your own free will. But there is usefulness in your skills. And if your intent is to really want to go back home and fix things. Yeah. I gotta stop right there. For some of us, there's a home. You have, we have always treated. It, we seen. I see now that you were shape shifting in and out as impersonating a few of our people. Have we ever treated you wrongly? Ah, uh, you treated somebody wrongly in your group. Who? Leia. This is that type of business where we try to stop this madness from happening. Like what you wanted to start. Or what they wanted to start. I'll give you an offer, a chance. Possibly. Yeah. He says with a smile. For to make up for to make amends. Just like how he remembers when Laura once Alora once offered me a chance for redemption and to do the right thing. I'm gonna offer it. To you as well. How do you feel about the nickname Suicide Squad? 
<laughs> Unless Leia is able to come, I am not. Uh, that, that, that's part of my deal breaker. And 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 we'll and we'll uh, pause right there because I think this is a good stopping point. Carl says, "I remember that movie." <laughs> Okay. Wow. Done. So, why wasn't she able to do it? Was it because of that damn collar? <laughs> you in every story, there's a character trait that has to be surpassed. In this, I used radar a lot as like the audience stand in and you guys as well for like what needs to get past. So Radar finally learned to stand up to himself and stop thing. You have a very particular character flow that you must overpass. Do you know what it is? Uh. It's not on your paper. It's that nope. you're afraid of her. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah I didn't, you've literally I didn't. you've literally made friends with death. i so that fear is gonna be nice uh nice story stuff to go past with next for next things as they as they come. So you know that's kind of funny if you think about it. She is not afraid of death but she is afraid of a person. That's interesting. Well, let's do a little post post with uh, with that. Let's do a little cut to scenes of things that may have missed. Maria and Carlos, mother and son. Um, uh, reuniting, uh, sword, you know, trying to get to the vault, uh, open, um, uh, Maria and, and Carlos, uh, there, she's there and she has this very particular amulet, kind of like a blood little amulet. And as she's moving, Mijito. What mother is Laura? She has fallen. What about the bomb? I don't know. But it's perfect. She, 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 she has that little amulet and it starts pulsing. And she says, don't worry, Laura. You'll be back soon enough. Huh. It, Meanwhile, the, uh, Carlos is, uh, you know, um, is opening Los. I should say Los. No, Carlos is the dad. Los is the son. He's got that same. Um, there's this golden chest with tons of arcane things that you know was part of the Arcana Pansophago. And this 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 chest is like the artifact, Beckna's hand, and then uh, his. His um, golden ticket hand looks turns into morphs into like this golden looking ginormous key that he puts into this weird locking mechanism and just does this. This chest, all the arcane runes turn off, all the bolts unlatch. And he looks at the chest where Vecna's hand is supposed to be. It's completely empty. And that's where we're going to end right there with a uh, uh, last flashback of Los. And we're there. You missed Los's perfect line. What? I put it in both chats. Where's Kaboom? Where's the Blue Nerd Shadow Kaboom? Yes, in Marvin the Merchant's voice.
Oh. Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I hope you like the introdu introduction of Los, the new bad guy who is going to be terrible and terrifying. Oh, great. And I hope. Yeah. Oh, um, you know what? There's one more little one more little scene that we're going to have. Um, chance. You know, a, a flashback memory of of chance now, uh, looking over the Arcana Pensafago and 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 doing a damage control. Um, and he's looking at reports. And uh, Irina. So now that allure is gone. Who's in charge now? And cut back to memory of Alora talking to Chance. We've been we've been through so many thick and thin. When I'm gone, it's up to you to continue the Arcana Pensophago. You know how dangerous these artifacts are in the wrong hands. How dangerous it is to balance the nature and wants and magics to protect everyone. I'll let. I'm just I'll checking. I'm, I'm just checking uh, uh, chances, uh, uh, looking at his character sheet and realizing, but. My knowledge of Arcana sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's never about the knowledge of the magic. It's always been about doing the right thing. Just follow your heart. Do the right thing. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> and with that... Um, Cut back to um, Chance, looking over the reports. It's like, what artifacts did we lose? And it's and they're looking through, and where on the report it's looking at like all these different names of cool, unique artifacts mix, missing down and out in the world. Um, the hand of Vecna. Chance smirks and says, "It's a good thing I moved it." Lucky, lucky thing I moved it. And with that, mm -hmm. we'll 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 shut we'll shut off the episode. And I know exactly where that would be, because nobody would even think of looking there. Not in yourself. No, no. Um, uh, Carlos, do you remember where um, the? He had a stash uh, that sort of started all this mess. I do. I very much do. Yes. I very much do remember the secret stash. Well, poor grandma got in so much trouble. <laughs> that was a journey. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you hated being the bad guys as much as I did. What? What? I'm, I, no, no, no. I'm actually happy you let me play the changeling. That was different. <laughs> I just, you know, I don't know. I just set up, I just set up things and let you all, you all guided most, so much of the story. I know the last episode, there was a lot of railroady towards the end, but when you pay the heavy price, it's kind of has to be railroady. I kind of wish I could have been badder. Badder? I, I'm <laughs> not good at being bad. More evil? It's fine. Or evil. It's a okay. I was I too inspirational really, I for really rape. Expect I, I put you ahead of time saying that you guys are the yeah. opposing force. That's well, it. Well, the, the thing is with the changeling, that's chaotic neutral, which technically felt like I was playing myself to a degree without playing myself to a degree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I am, I'm really, I'm, I'm fading pretty quickly. So, all right, I can see right through you now. 
Well, thank you for helping beat up Laura. Um, we'll see if she if she continue meaning Dominique continues to have uh, post traumatic stress disorder because of this. She'll a, have nightmares of Laura. As a post, thank you. That's I'm so glad. I mean, that's a huge help compliment to me. But uh, as a uh, so, it, she's a blood lich, so she's not fully dead. And that little necklace thing. One of the D and D things uh, is you have to go after their refractory, or like how in Harry well, Potter, how like you, Voldemort and his uh, actually, with all the 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 thing was you moved away so quickly from the scene because I was literally going to make sure as Q to check for this, but you mm -hmm. moved away from the scene so quickly I couldn't say anything. Yep, <laughs> on purpose. On purpose. It's. Sometimes I real real do you on purpose to set up to prevent things from happening. I hope you enjoyed this journey. It was very dark. Um, I'm thinking. I really this... liked. I really liked the um, the de uh, Joe Black and myself uh, beach scene with playing chess. I really liked that. All of that was inspired because you 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 died first. That was it. Like I'm like, ooh, how can I use this? And I know I had thought of like with, you know, the golden ticket and as a reference to, you know, uh, last action here. I'm like, that has to come here, right? So, it just naturally had to be the. By the way, this is a uh, this is a still from the Seven Seal. This is the original Seven Seal shot, cinema shot from from the original movie in 19. 27. Wow. I'm glad you enjoyed that, as did I. I did. I did. I okay, hope guys. the characters stick around for the next time. We'll see where this goes. In the meantime, bonus nachos. Bonus, bonus nachos, nachos, everybody. everybody.